Good morning, I'm Corporal Keener with the Pasco Sheriff's Office Environmental Crimes Unit on the agricultural side of the house. Today you guys will be riding with me and getting an insight of what I do day to day operations. First we're going to be going up and trying to catch a pig and a horse waiting for us in Shady Hills. If you guys have any questions, uh, post them and we'll get back with you. We are on the scene of a reported loose pig and loose pit bull and just made contact with the caller that called it in and the loose pig appears to be in the front yard of the residence where he lives. Um, so I might just be wandering around, drive in there and make contact with them and make sure they keep the pig on their property. Where'd you get her from? I got it from Hicks Road. That makes her big. What's... Uh, I, I was my uncle. Come here. Can your uncle take her back? He's the one that got her with me, sir. <laughs> me and her, me and him was uh, scrapping, and um, there was a lady that couldn't take care of her no more, and I took her. She'll go in there, but she'll come right back out. She's very nice. She's not that you can kill you. I know, but the neighbors are complaining. So can you give me a note? You look like a precious. She is nice. I'll just do my fees. We are headed to a call in Shady Hills. Uh, they were received a couple days ago, and the lady had a pot belly pig that had a tusk that was grown out and had curled around, was growing back into its face. Uh, we had originally gotten a call from PETA and to go out there and take a look at it. A deputy looked at it, um, and she was ordered to help get somebody to help her cut the tooth out or get a vet, something to sedate the pig so they could help it out. And we're following up today to make sure that. She took care of it, and if not, we're gonna to try to help her out with it. Tomorrow at three to four. Okay. She said to give her a call. Okay. All right, we just saw the pig. Uh, the infection that was reported from its tooth wasn't as bad as. Uh, like I said, reported to us. There is a wound. At this point, it doesn't appear to be infected. Uh, actually, prior to going to the house, I spoke to the vet that's going to be making the visit to trim the tooth. Uh, so I verified the story there. There's a vet coming out uh, to sedate the pig, so it's not any stress during the procedure. And I've also got a call in to the vet uh, in case she has a problem capturing the pig. We'll come back tomorrow morning. Uh, or midday and uh, help her cat catch the pig so we can get his tooth they get basically take it to the dentist and get his teeth fixed to give an answer to the most memorable helping out somebody or an animal in a pretty bad situation a few years ago I had a guy he's an elderly gentleman in his early 80s had an old horse that was approximately 35 years old. <clears throat> he had had it since it had been born, and the horse was real thin. The call came in to us that it was a neglected horse, that so we needed to get out there and charge this guy with neglect. Well, upon making contact with him and checking out the horse, uh, the guy automatically started crying. So we asked him, you know, I'm asking him what's going on, why is he so upset? Uh, he said that his horse is the only reason that he has to live. And he knew the horse was getting thin 
and thought it was at the end of its life. So he was emotional about it. Uh, so I told him we'd look into it and just make sure that it wasn't just a health issue. So he brought us into his house where I found he had a whole pallet full of food. Uh, his kitchen counter was full of supplements that he had bought to try to recover the animal and put weight back on them. And his living room was the horse's stall. The horse had walked in through the back lanai, <clears throat> walked through the sliding glass doors, and would eat its hay in the living room of the house. He had a hay pile all the way to the roof, so obviously it wasn't an issue with neglect. So we got a vet involved, ran some tests, and had come to find out the horse had an upper respiratory infection. Got it on a couple rounds of antibiotics, and within six months, the horse had gained about 450 to 475 pounds. And like I said, that was about three or four years ago, and the horse is still alive today. And in doing so, when the last time I talked to the, the old man's daughter, he was doing so much better knowing his horse was gonna live an extra few years and that it wasn't just you know, an issue with it being old. So anytime you can help, I think that one's a win-win. It helped out where we helped the horse out and we helped out the gentleman who, you know, like I said, he, he was sitting down here and that's the only thing that he had to keep him going was his horse. So that's probably one that's probably, not probably, that's the most memorable uh, so far issue that I've had that I've helped out uh, an animal and its owner. I'm going out into a local area, private property, where people like to go and go four-wheeling area known as the East Pits. So I can re reveal that now because if you're watching this, it's too late, we're here. And uh, you shouldn't be, and we'll let you know that when we find you. Well, we saw some people in there. Uh, they were on little small ATVs and a little more agile than we are. Uh, but I think the message got across. They saw us uh, once we saw them, and don't think they'll be back for a while. Uh, but for the majority of the Pasco people who like to go out there and cause some riffraff, Thank you for not doing it today. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming with me today on today's Tweet Along. I hope you guys have a good night and a good and safe New Year.